Uh, what's going on, guys? It's Kage. And if you can't tell already, today I'm going to be doing my Promised Gear Chronicle deck profile. So, before I get started, let me just say one. I've been playing this for over a little over a year, I think. And for me, you know, this deck is not the best deck because it's literally built from Rallying Call of the Interspectral Dragon and Odyssey of the Interspatial or whatever. I forget the other one, but yeah, so this isn't the best. It needs a lot of upgrades to be good. And there's a couple cards I want to be switching out, so you know, as of right now, this is what I got, and I will get started. Hold if I can get everything to work. And yes, in case you guys are wondering, these are the same sleeves I used for my Yu-Gi-Oh deck, Dragon Shield. These are the Dragon Shield Art Blood Eyes. No sponsor, but they're good. Let me get everything moved in. Yes, I'm in bed because, I mean, I'm lazy. I don't feel like moving. And I'm comfortable. So, first card I play is, well, my starting vanguard, Chrono Dran. Four runners, so, you know, move him to the rear guard, call unit. And then his GB1, or Generation Break 1 skill, is add him to the soul... Add a card with the name Chrono from deck to hand, so really good for stride, you know, for the next turn stride. Then for my trigger lineup, it's, um, I think the basic, pretty much the basic, um, trigger lineup nowadays for decks. And I'm trying to work here with one hand. Which is four heels. What am I doing? Four draw and then eight crit. So this is, you know, my trigger lineup. It's nothing special. Pretty much the basics. Okay, I'll fix that later. Um, grade ones. I run four copies of Steam Fighter Meshi. Meshi. I don't know how to pronounce his name. And then his skill is rear guard circle once per turn, generation break one. Um, on the van, da, 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 da. um, counter blast or soul blast, sorry, soul blast one. When your opponent's rear guard is put into his or her deck from the effect of one of your cards, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one card from the damage zone and turn it face up. So this can actually counter charge, so like with Chrono Jet, like I'll get to that with a little thing I do, but with his Chrono Jet Stride skill, if you have him like in the rear guard, what you can do is you can use Chrono Jet Stride skill, counter blast one, spin a card to the bottom of the deck, use his, and trigger his skill, soul blast one, and then get that back, which is really good for... You know this because a lot of skills require counter blasting for a time leaping, and you know your damage zone can run pretty fast. Next up is three time break dragon. His skill is time leap. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of a time leap theme, which is what I like about Gear Chronicle. Plus, this is my first and main clan. Next to, um, what's going to be my next deck profile, which I'll give you guys a hint at the end. Um, Time Leap, Counter Blast 1. Um, 
Yeah, time. Yeah, time leap is the skill. Generation break one. When this unit is placed on the rear guard circle, choose up to one of the, your rear guards and time leap it. So, for anybody that doesn't know how time leap works, it's you take a unit, but move it to the bind zone, which would be right here, for example, and then you can call a unit one grade higher. So if you have a grade zero, grade one, grade one, grade two, grade two, grade three. If you're playing standard, if you have one grade fours in your deck, so on and so forth. The next is three copies of um, Summit Crescent Gearwolf. His skill is Auto Rear Guard GB1. When your opponent's rear guard is put into his or her deck to, to uh, an effect, he gets 3,000 power till the end. So, again, I guess something you could do with him. And where's the other ones? That's him. No, it's him. Let's say you have him, let's say you have a uh, Mishi in the rear guard and him in the rear guard. You could always just use his skill, salt counter, counter charge, and then he can get 3k. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, I know what I'm doing today. I'm just tired today, so bear with me here. I apologize. Um... Next is um, for perfect guards. This is uh, your basic one. And then he has a... Um, his skill is, you know, you can choose when units can't be attacked, but I don't really care about that. It's, you know, most times I just choose to use his skills. Next. Uh, moving on to the grade twos. Two copies of History Maker Dragon. With his skill, it's um, pretty much, again, time leap. Just counter blast one, time leap. That's all he does. Next up is four copies. Yes, it is four. It's four copies of Twin Master Dragon. Um, da -da -da -da. When this unit attacks a vanguard, it gains 3,000 till the end. So, nothing too special. Next is two copies of Relic Master Dragon. His skill is Counter Blast 2. When this unit is placed on the vanguard or rear guard circle, you may pay the cost, and if you do, Choose up to choose one of your opponents, grade two or less rear guards, and put that unit into the bottom of the deck. So spin it pretty much. Next is four copies of the vanilla, four copies of Smokey or Dragon. Nothing special about him. What do we got? Okay, now we're at the grade threes, which is. Um, four copies, as of right now, four copies of, um, Classic Gun. What I want to do is I actually want to switch one of these out with a, um, fourth copy of Chrono Jet Dragon. Because this is, like, my, the one I mainly use for stride. Because Chrono Jet's the one I mainly like to ride. So... I'm not going to go into his skill too much because I don't really use him aside from stride fodder. But if you, in case you want to know, um, GB1, when this unit is placed on the rear guard, you may choose up to one of your units da -da -da, and it gets power until the end of the turn. And then also it's a time leap, which we all know how time leap works from me explaining it. And then last is three copies of Chrono Jet Dragon. Which is going to change to 4 soon, because after this video I'm ordering my 4th copy. So, Chrono Jessica, I'll use the OG original art for this. So, his skill is GP2. Um, when this unit attacks, it gets 5,000 power when your opponents cannot call grade 1 or higher to rear guard. I mean, to guard. 
So pretty much just stuck using grade zeros plus his stride skill is counter blast one spin a card. So moving on to my G zone. It's nothing too special here. I've run two copies of Interdimensional Beast Metallica Phoenix, which I'm soon going to get four, two more of these because this is like the main card I stride. Which his skill is pretty much time leap. Again, a lot of these are time leap if you can't tell. So his skill is you flip over one, you flip over a card in the G zone, and then you're able to time leap. Really useful. Um, I want to go through the two of so Some of these are just to take up space. Two copies of Colossal Fortress. Um, Thunderbolt Shockwave Colossus, yeah. Mainly just to take up space. Um, Interdimensional Dragon, Mystery Flare. Uh, this is a combination take up space. I try to get his effect, but I've only ever gotten it once. Out of pure luck. Um, Bind Time Dragon. Again, space. Um, these two, I'm not even going to try to say their names, but they're from the Gears of Fate. I'll try to pronounce it, though. It's, um, for this one, it's. Dewis. X M Machina Machina eh, whatever you see it and then this one and then lastly is um uh, come on Metapulsor Ho Long Long And that's pretty much it. That is my Gear Chronicle deck profile. And it wants to fall, I don't care. And to give you a hint of the next deck profile that'll be done. Once I get everything, the cards I need and sleeved. This is just to give a hint of what I'm doing. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next.